On today's tutorial, we will learn how to automate the data extraction from SAP with YPath. So first, I'll just explain very briefly the step-by-step -step process. So after starting SAP and doing the login, we will execute a transaction SC16N that allows, for example, to build tables data, SAP tables data. And so we will search for the table ekikio that has data about purchase documents. And then we will search and will appear the table data. And so then the idea is to export it to a spreadsheet. So on my side, I've already in place the starting of SAP logon and the login into SAP. So if you want to learn more about that, watch the trail appear now on the top that teaches how to automate the login into SAP with YPath. So after doing the login will appear this screen. And so we have to execute a transaction. So to execute a transaction, we can simply use the call transaction activity. And so to it, we just have to indicate here the screen and then the transaction code to execute. So we can store it on a variable, on assets. So to keep it simple, let's put it here directly, but on a production scenario, we will not store art coded value here. So now if we execute, so let's test to see if it's working. So we click here, it runs just from this activity and we can see that it worked. So after that, the next step is to fill here the table name. So we have to use a type into and to use a type into, we have to use a use application browser. So here, let's indicate this screen. And now inside, we'll use a type into to enter the table name on the input field. So we indicate first. And now here, the table name. So let's put it like this. And then to execute uh, the search to see the data later, we can either click on this button or we can send the keyboard shortcut F8. So to click on the button, we can use a click or we can use a specific SAP activity, which is a select menu item. And so here, we can just simply indicate here this bar and now indicate the button that we want to execute, which is this one that calls as the tooltip online F8. And so with that, uh, we'll be executed the search. So let's see how it's working. So I'll just go back and execute again from this activity. So let's see how it's working. And it's working well. So now on my side, I have to handle this pop-up. So I'll just have a check app state activity to verify first if the pop-up appears. And so if it appears, we will uh, click on the button to close that pop-up. So let's use the click activity and use here the click. So let's see how it's working. So I will run from this check app state activity. And it's working well. So then the next step is to uh, go here to this button and click on spreadsheet. So this is two clicks. However, uh, we can use the select menu item activity uh, for SCP that it seems that it works behind the scenes and use SAP APIs. And so uh, with a single activity, we execute basically the spreadsheet option. So let's use here select menu item. Indicate here this like this. So it will scan the options available here. And now here we can see basically many options and the one that you want to use is export a spreadsheet. And so if we run now the activity, let's see how it's working. So uh, let's run from this 
activity. So it seems that didn't found the option. So uh, here, let's just stop and make sure, well, here the selector is valid. So, well, here we can see that we are having an issue. So let's decay again here. So, well, SAP was closed and I don't know why. So I'll just run SAP again. So until these activities, so let's run. Here we are again. So now I'll just stop. And uh, well, let's see the selector. So let's click on the kth element and the kth again. And the selector seems a bit different. So let's see if it works now. So let's run from here. And yes, now it worked. So now will appear the pop up from where we can choose where the file will be saved and which will be the file names. Are you ready to master SAP automation with platforms like YPath, Power Automate, Automation Anywhere, Blue Prism, and even Python? In my upcoming courses, you'll get hands on experience and real SAP access so you can practice everything you learn. Free access to SAP is impossible to get as far as I'm aware, but I'll got you covered on my courses. And I'm about to launch these SAP automation courses anytime soon. Subscribe via the link below in the description or in the comments to stay tuned and be the first to know when these courses go live. So let's set the file name to a custom one. So here we can use the type int activity and indicate here the file name. So here, let's say the file name can be SAP data extraction and then contain the today's date. So date time dot now dot to string. And then here the date format in, so here day, month, year, hour, minute, second. And then in the hand add the file extension. So to be an Excel file. And then we just have to add a click. So let's see how it's working. So let's run from this activity. Let's close. Let's go back, back and click on continue. So the file name is being defined. And now the file will be generated. So here we can see that was generated the file with the file name that we have defined on the type it activity. And here we can see the table data. So it worked well. So that's it for today's tutorial. And if you like it, please give a thumbs up. And now subscribe to the channel and enable notifications bell so you don't miss any tutorial released here on the channel.